Sane once again uh, sharing with you another uh, video. Today I want to share about my uh, trip to Mexico. I'm here in uh, the state of Guanajuato. This is my first time visiting Guanajuato, Mexico. And I'm in the city of uh, Leon, Leon, Guanajuato. It's a beautiful location. Um, and you must be wondering, how do you know it's, it's beautiful if you're totally blind? Well, I have shared before that I'm totally blind, but this location is just amazing in every single place that I have visited. I actually came to visit, uh, came to Guadalajara in the state of Jalisco, Mexico. And I've been uh, touring everywhere. And, and it's just, it's, it's Mexico, and, you know, uh, first of all, it's beautiful. So right now I'm sitting up here on, a, well, you can see it, can't see it, but it's a, it's a, a chaos, a kiosco, that's how you say it in Spanish. And I'm sitting over here up on the edge. <laughs> and behind me, behind me is a beautiful view, or that's what I was told. And uh, it's, it's the hotels, it's the hotels, you know, the boutiques the plaza and this is the historical uh, downtown I think that's how they call it and there is a lot of people a lot of restaurants a lot of uh, I guess it's very recognized or you know stores that are fancy stores and um, over here down I'm looking down and uh, the landscaping I was told is beautiful a lot of uh, you know dream, uh, trees uh, couples sitting down you know um, over here to my left is a mun municipal house uh, across from me that I was told that it's a church over there uh, and right across People always wonder, you know, how we the blind do things, and if we, I mean, they get amazed by the things that we do, and they always wonder if, well, wonder how we do things, or if we even, you know, if we the blind even enjoy life, or things that we do, or if, if even if we get to go out. Uh, yes, and I have shared before that one of the ways that we're able to, I guess, travel. Uh, well, I know people that is totally blind and they travel, people that is partially blind travel alone. Um, what I do, I usually travel with someone and it's, it's easier for me. I have a guide dog. I did not bring my guide dog to Mexico because uh, I think my guide dog would be suffering because we're going from place to place, getting on the tour bus, uh, getting off, and there is a lot of, not in this location, I didn't notice that there are street dogs, but. And in other places that we've, we have visited that are, you know, here in Mexico, it's common to see uh, dogs out on the street, dogs that don't belong to anyone, which is a very sad situation, or I find it very sad. Um, but usually for me, and I have been asked before, how do I travel, how do I enjoy? I enjoy life, because I'm alive. <laughs> but, you know, the way we do it, the blind is always with someone's help. For me, I get someone that, you know, have someone that guides me, describe things for me, and I have my iPhone uh, and I'm able to, you know, uh, just take pictures with some applications, but overall life is very visual, so I have someone that takes pictures for me, or, of me, videos, like right now, <laughs> uh, it's very nice, um, you know, one inter interesting thing about the blind or as a blind is that we know if a location is pretty, it's nice, it's clean, this location is, is I love it. It, it. It's very nice. A lot of people, you know, walking out there. Uh, people walking, you know, with the dogs and the churches. And one int one interesting thing that I, I wanted to share with you is something that I have noticed in, in the state of Jalisco and over here, also in Mexico City, is is the accessibility that they have out on the street. You know, the ramps. I, I have found that in most churches, in many locations, they have a ramp right in front of the church, right in front of the hotel, and on the right side, along with the ramp, there, is, there are the stairs, you know, for people that is able to use the stairs. Um, I guess the ramp is not only used for people with physical disabilities, but, you know, for mothers that have a stroller with a baby. Uh, the interesting, interesting part about that is not that I, 
surprise that they have the accessibility is that the ramp is very close to the stairs. I think that you don't find that all the time in the United States because whenever you want to look for the ramp, it's like all the way around the building or, I mean, it's far. It's far. So over here is next to each other, but, 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 I don't know the, the streets. Sometimes, you know, the sidewalk is very broken. Uh, it's not accessible to, to, you know, reach to the destination. There is a ramp uh, to the building, but the, 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 actually the sidewalk or the road or it's not. So I don't know if that's a challenge. And um, I don't know, it's just very interesting. So um, if you ever decide to come and visit Mexico, if you are a guide dog user, and if you have someone to travel with, maybe it's, it is a good idea to leave your guide dog at home. And maybe you don't want to bring it because it won't be fair to the dog. And you now you would have to spend time, you know, relieving the dog, finding a place. Uncomfortable pretty much for, for the dog. And some places are not accessible. Uh, there is a, a guide dog uh, law, but it's not reinforced. They're trying, uh, there's a group of blind um, uh, guide dog users that are uh, fighting for these to pass the law. And uh, so maybe it's a you know, better idea to, to leave your guide dog if you, someone that, if you have someone that is gonna guide you. And it'll be more fun. <laughs> so what else can I share? Well, that's, for, that's it for now. So. If you have anyone that can take you, you know, visit the world, go ahead and do it. It's fun. You don't have to, I mean, for some sighted people, they think that we don't enjoy, but we actually do. So if you have the opportunity, do not allow your blindness to stop, you know, from visiting places, traveling. It is a lot of fun. I'll have this video in Spanish and I thank you for um, watching my video. Uh, please share with friends, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao!